All right, we're back and I have recovered from the Moss Pole, Moss Pole fiasco of 2022. Now we're gonna do something that is a little bit depressing. Exhibit A, Exhibit B, Exhibit C. We are chopping up my philodendrons today because for some reason, my gloriosum decided to take a shit on me and my varicosum, it's just not doing anything. Actually, that's not entirely true. It does have a itty bitty teeny little growth point right there, but it keeps dropping its new leaves and all of that. So we're gonna put it, put them both in my propagation box. I don't know if I'm going to sell any cuttings from these plants. Definitely not anytime soon. Let's put it that way. This is all the moss that I have left at the moment. So we're gonna make it work. And here goes nothing. I think my beautiful little gloriosum here has root rot. Um, mm, you can smell the the green. <laughs> that sounds so stupid. Oh my God. Um, I'm not expecting this leaf to survive. Probably not this one either. And they're not really going to fit in the box. So maybe for now, I'll just <sighs> keep chopping and Let it callous over, see how I feel about chopping off the, uh... <clears throat> leaves, I don't know. If you've been watching for any length of time, you know that I was very excited about this guy, but I, I don't know, I feel like I killed it and I feel really bad. I'm like highly curious to see if there's any roots left. So we're just gonna do a little literal digging. Um, I did water it yesterday. I love how I'm doing this after I put away my potting mat from the last video. Um, yeah. Okay, as I suspected, even the main root here is rotten. So we are just going to say goodbye to the original chunk. Uh, surprisingly, there is green in there still, but I don't think there's anything living left besides that little green that is more attached to this than this. So, plant one down. Now I'm very sad. I hope I didn't just waste $50 in three years, two years, three years of care. But if I did, it'll be okay, right? everything will be okay in the end. If it's not okay, it's not the end. Okay. Here goes nothing varicosum. Obviously I'm gonna have some wet sticks. And I'm just gonna leave this little stump with the growth point there, which you probably cannot see, but yeah. I don't know what's going on here. We're gonna put it in my little cup and moss thing. Actually, while we're about it, and since I'm ruining this guy anyway, we are also going to pot up this little Hoya curtisii. I can't believe this thing is still alive very amazing to me. 
What's not amazing is that my moss is alive. I think that's super duper cool. Part of the reason I switched to moss for my propagations instead of soil is because I wanted to grow moss. I knew it could be done from watching other YouTubers. And yeah, I was successful. Um, I'm probably gonna just sell this Curtisii because Hoya just don't bring me joy. And yes, I know I'm cheesy. Okay. I hope at least one of these survives. I think this might be a piece of Monstera Adansoniae. Not sure. And voila. Got its little growth point pointing up. I'm gonna put this guy in here too. It's my sad little what's left of my melanocrysum journey. <clears throat> Um, I'm going to let these callus over for the hour before I go to work and I think I'm just going to put them in water for now because I don't have any more moss and I don't have any more patience. Um, but yeah, my sad little gloriosum leaves. She was a beautiful plant. Now she is one, two, three, four, five future plants. And hopefully I didn't make a mistake doing this. I really love my velvet leaf philodendrons. They're just like the most beautiful green and white. All right, so it's been five days since I put this in water and the leaves are so much happier already. That root rot was definitely getting to my gloriosum. This is the top cut leaf. It's not as happy. I don't know if this one's ever gonna come out, but the rest of them are looking pretty good. So I have hope. I have one more thing to do before we sign off. I have to package one of these up to send to a buyer because I sold another plant, y'all. Woohoo! And I'm gonna use the last of my moss in here. Let's see, I'm gonna send one that's rooted. Yeah. I'll send this guy because it's got the best root of the four cuttings that I took. I'm just gonna do the whole wrap the sphagnum around thing and tuck it in. Alrighty. So that's that little guy all wrapped up and ready to be packed up. And you know what? I might send a gift with purchase since it's just one leaf cutting. Um, but I haven't decided what yet. So whoever you are, I hope you're ready. Um, not entirely sure how I'm going to make it safe with this leaf though, because obviously I can't, you know, I mean, I suppose I could, but it would probably break. But yeah, it's too tall, it would break. Anyway, thank y'all for watching. Hope you have a great day.